Hello my friends, very good evening. This is going to be the wonderful evening in Singapore and I am your friend Amol again back with one of the best tutorials for you to learn. So this is the tutorial about the very basic stuff on the Windows operating system. Let's say if you have just bought the laptop or you are thinking of going into the computing domain but you don't know how to start. So this is the first tutorial is going to be based on the someone who just don't want to be a newcomer but just wanted to be do something better. So we are going to start today. We are going to start with the tool that comes pre-installed in the window so you don't have to go somewhere, pay the hefty price and buy this. But you can find this tool by default installed on your Windows operating system. This is not only free, this is not only free, but this is also a very, 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 very easy application for you to start up with. So let me go ahead right into that and jump start the application. The name of the application is called Paint. In the Windows 98, 95 and even Windows 2000, this application was called as Photo Paint, but we are calling it as a Paint in the Windows 10. I don't know why. So this is the GUI that is graphical user interface of this application It's very intuitive. It's very nice. It looks very awesome. And this is basically the most important and most amazing thing about the Windows operating system that I like is that it has a very nice workspace. So the workspace is basically this white thing that you can see right on my screen right now. This is a white thing and basically this is your playground for your journey into the computing world that you're going to start again with me. So basically this tool on the right hand side on the bottom has this small toolbar which calls the zoom bar. So if you're not happy with the smaller zoom you can just increase the size and go to the higher zoom like this. Higher, smaller, and smaller. Oh, I just can do this. I love this game. I can play this game all along the day. So let me start up with the very basic thing. Now the basic thing starts with the first thing is how to draw. So let me start my first things with a box. You can see the shapes box over here. And you can simply go here and draw a box. So yes, you have just got a yourself a beautiful black box. Uh, it's not a black box, but it's just a plain box you're drawn into the white workspace. But hey, I'm not happy with the size of the border lines. They have to be very thin right now. They are very large. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the smaller things here. And move ahead. Hey, now I got a, another box with a thinner line. But I'm not happy with the color inside. It all looks black and white. Okay, no problem. I'm just going to fill with the solid color. With the color maroon. Yeah. So yeah, what we are going to do, friends, is we're just going to select the tool over here, which is called fill with color. And then click inside the box and it becomes tada magic color change so this is how you change the color of the box but hey I am not happy with the maroon color I want the pink color so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the pink and again click inside the box and the color magically changes from red to pink this is what I like about myself now the next thing I'm going to do is I like to write the name inside so I'm just going to click on the tool here called A a for apple no a for text so insert the text into the picture but don't go on the line you can actually insert the text anywhere in your workspace it does not matter whether it has to be a picture or a frame or nothing but today we are going to insert the paste or we are going to insert these inside of a black box over here so i'm going to write my First. Oh, but I cannot see anything. Oh, that's maybe because of the background color is same as the color of my text. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color of my text to black. I also want to increase the size a little bit to 16. And then I can see my text now here. So this becomes my first draw. Yay, I have created it. So once you create it, you can see a beautiful box inside that you have written something in the black ink. 
now what my friend i don't like some edges here let me do some polishing so i have to go ahead and click this tool called erasers go ahead click here and start erasing ta 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 okay so this is how we are going to work then go here and the last thing you want to do is to save this so it's going to ask me where do you want to save it with what name so generally it saves with the png format don't worry about what the format is we are going to cover this in our next tutorials but we are just going to save it with say okay my first picture and then say save now oh another location oh my pc is not allowing to save my own files that's too bad okay let me save it on the desktop so let me save it on the desktop and yes i've got saved my picture you can see it over here so this is how about the first tutorial my friends we are going to see you in the next tutorial still then keep watching and please 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 get your ass on that chair and practice tutorials watching alone is not going to help you you have to put in load of efforts if you want to learn anything in your life so with that message i will see you in the next video bye bye